Nick. <laughs> Whoa, got a little windy over here. <laughs> Woo! Hello, YouTube! Hello, YouTube! What's up, everybody? We're alive, doing well, and uh, I guess uh, in contribution to Hurricane Irma, we have a special blend that we mixed up, Irma's Delight. <laughs> And that's what we're gonna smoke. And you want me to load you up? Yeah, load me up, man. All right, here's what you gave me. Oh, mess. Cherrywood poker. And I'll have a black red dog stuffed with Irma shit. Yeah, she left a lot of water. A lot of tree branches. A lot of, uh, a lot of debris. smashed cars. Yeah, I had a friend that lost 20% of his roof. and He's staying in a hotel right now. Yeah, and lost all the trees in the shard, too. Not sure how many trees there were. <laughs> whatever there was, it's gone. I got to show my Goodwill tobacco plate. Uh, let's see. You guys want to talk about that storm? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, <clears throat> you want to we, hear our side? <laughs> we lived it. our experience of this is, uh, what, this is what happened in the Dagner house during <laughs> Hurricane Irma. Yeah, we'll we'll give you a play by play. How about that? How to treat a hurricane? Well, shit. What? When did it? We started. <laughs> well, obviously, the whole weekend, the whole week was stressful, anticipating it. When it's coming? Where is it going? Blah blah blah. I think it all started on Friday, didn't yeah, it? It wasn't yeah. for me because I knew it would totally do whatever it was going to do at the last minute. You know, it's either 50-50. It's either going to go this way or it's going to go that way. And well, the important thing was that as it was coming up, the coast started losing categories, uh, hurricane categories. So by the time it got to us, it was about a one one or two. I think, yeah, it was like yeah. borderline. But, so. it, yeah, it started splitting up in threes uh, by the time it was crossing over us. But let me tell you, before that, we were getting the, uh, the right-hand uppercut winds, and there was one time, I don't know, what time do you think that was, about 2 o'clock? No. <clears throat> but. It was dark. Well. It got so windy, so fast, so loud. I mean, it sounded like the train was coming. And uh, I was, you know, had my head peeked out the, the front door. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. And. Pretty cool, huh? I got my own packer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start uh, passing out cards. I'll be like, Uber, I'll come over and pack your pipe. No Ubers for you. It started picking up Saturday and windy, but it wasn't until the, um, and, and some rain, of course, but it wasn't until the evening or in, into the later evening that it started really wind gust from fucking, whoosh, mm. whoosh. you'd hear it all over the place. So Jason and Jay and myself, we kept on looking out front. We'd go out the front porch and check it out. And then they'd get real gusty and windy and we'd run inside. Then we go back out in a little bit and check it out because it was pretty amazing actually to watch. Yeah, it was, it was cool. And we we put the flashlights on the trees and you could see how bad they were bending. <clears throat> but that one time where I had my head <laughs> stuck out, I'm just listening and it's getting louder and louder and louder. I'm just like, holy shit, this is it. It's coming. And I came in the house. I was like, put the fucking helmet on now. <laughs> Run to the closet. It's coming. <sighs> And we all, uh... We all spread it like cockroaches. <laughs> we just... Let me just emphasize that Jason goes, Get in the house! It's coming! It's coming! The train's coming! And we're like, what? And Jay picks up Kane, cuddles him, gets in the corner and gets down, and he just is closing his eyes. It was so cute. And then, Ooh, and then I look over, and I'm like, <laughs> it was. And then I look over, and I'm like, Babe, are you sure? Are you sure? Get in there! Oh man, I, I was man. I was just uh I grabbed my helmet and uh we both put him on, stood there for a second. I, I thought it was it and all of a sudden it just got quiet. It did. It, it just, just barely 
your you know, bones oh, quiet. There was a, a guy at the gym I was talking to today, and he said that there were three that touched down in Tiberi's. Mm -hmm. They didn't touch down long, <laughs> but they they mm -hmm. were still touchdown, tornado touchdowns. Well, there was one in Umatilla because it got Roger. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there was one one block from Brett. Really? Yep. Ugh. See, so there was a lot. And my sister, what I think what kind of started that anticipation was uh, my sister lives in Oviedo, which is about mm, 40 minutes from our house. And she would text me and say, the sirens in the neighborhood are going off for tornadoes. And that just freaked me out because... You know, it's her and the family and the kids and Big Great Dane in this little tiny bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then she texts, okay, they went off. And then like 10 minutes later, she goes, they're going off again. So it went off like three she times. She could actually hear sirens, though. Yeah, like, she, in whatever, in the neighborhood. I mean, I kind of am curious if we have those tornado sirens around us. It should be at all public schools, like throughout a P8 or you just blast oh, it through that makes you know, sense. neighborhoods that could hear it. Because you know, everybody's. I've never close heard to any around here. No. Uh -uh. I've never heard any, period. No, that's why when I heard all that fucking racket coming down the street, I said, run in here and get your helmets on. Oh, man. Because it was, it was a sound that I've heard before, and it was crazy that it had gotten silent. Like, once we all kind of sat there for a second. Maybe now, the other it. crazy thing is, <clears throat> like, after that, the winds, you, you could feel the energy outside. The, the winds would just start uh, calming down real quick, and it fe it was almost like an ocean current. You could hear it kind of lay back, and then, whoosh, like this humongous wave of wind would come through. Yeah. It, was a, it was a lot of gust of wind. Yeah, yeah. the tides. But, um, no, one crazy thing was that there's, there's an old bookshelf on the front porch. <laughs> you know, it used to have DVDs on it, sat over here for years. And, uh... You know, had these little self-adhesive push-button LED lights on there. You know, they take a small little watch battery. Well, you know, shit, it's been almost 10 years since these things have really worked. I mean, they worked good for a year and then the fucking batteries died. So it went out there with them. And they, one of them... It's our plant shelf outside now. Yeah. And so, it's been out there for... <clears throat> oh, maybe six, six months. months. Yeah. yeah. But so, anyway. like I was saying, that the tides with the winds, when, when the wind would pull back and start charging and to, to come forward, that light would energize and start pulsing. Blowing. Yeah, yeah. it's and, like and pulsing with the with wind. With the wind, it was, it was insane. Yeah. And, you know, it's pitch dark out, and that's all you see is this light. It felt like uh, Stranger Things. It was kind of creepy. It was creepy as fuck. <laughs> Let me tell you. It was creepy. Jason was fixated on it. Yeah, he ran around here for quite a while with that helmet on. <laughs> he did. I had my GoPro. He did. Yep. Yeah, I, he had a GoPro. Had a GoPro on. charged <laughs> and an empty SIM card. And uh, I was ready to just hit that button on, on any occasion. Because I didn't have uh, lost cell service. Uh, we lost uh, internet power at what? Maybe one? Something like that. I mean, it, I kind of don't really remember a whole lot we lost as far as it, when, time when we lost power we lost internet. everything yeah yeah we didn't get internet which, back till late last night which sucked because you know we were relying at that point on internet to um to stream any news you know local news and everything which you know was super intense and then they they show you this and that and we were like ah so like for it's fun three, to make fun of the news. It's three days that we were all pretty stressed out. But I mean, we weren't stressed out, but we were just, you're on high alert. I thought it was awesome. I mean, it was, it it was, was kind of like Civil War reenactment. It's fun, well, but it's Well, not awesome. exactly. We were pretty comfortable. I got a generator for my trailer, and we turned that thing on, hooked it up, and just brought extension cords through the doggy doors mm -hmm. yeah and uh we had everything except for ac yeah we'd stop at the refrigerator plug it in go over to the tvs and plug them all mm -hmm. in TV. and uh we plugged the internet in but it wouldn't work damn comcast well the lights and everything came on we just didn't get a signal mm. now I, I got a signal like the two days later when i rode my bike down to, to the lake 
What are you doing? I Kevin? got two bars down there, and then I got halfway home and lost all cell service again. Okay, the only thing, on? the only thing we didn't have for convenience was hot water. Mm -hmm. We had everything else. But it was so hot out. It hey. felt good. I took a cold shower. Uh, you want to go to Grandpa? Mm. But the, the night that we didn't have AC, I slept so good. We had the, we had the big shop fan in the bedroom, and it's loud. Put me right to sleep, and uh, I never. Never got hot. That was cool. I got sticky. Did you? Mm -hmm. oh, I had that fan you gave me and I was naked. <laughs> I had a cover on. Hmm. I didn't. Oh. Anyway, we made it all right. We didn't have a whole lot of damage. I can tell you one thing. The last storm we had, it blew our fence yeah. that way. This time, the storm was coming this way. And I was hoping it was going to blow that fence back up the street. It didn't. And it never did. <laughs> it didn't. It ripped the side of paneling off on the uh, garage side. Not bad. Just big hole in the put shed. Put it right back up. Got a hole in the shed roof. A uh, bunch of broken trees. We cleaned it all up. And other than that, that was about it for us. I we saw a lot worse though. I mean, oh shit, that's what I can tell you. What is uh, the day after? You know, we had, nobody had power. Our our entire county was out of power. So I got on my uh, Z125 and put my GoPro on, hit the button, and I Joking. had so much incredible, insane, like, damage footage, sad footage, and uh, some fun footage. Uh, I mean, the entire city, all, all three cities around here were like a playground. I mean, nobody was out. Uh, trees were down everywhere and nothing open nothing was open so I mean I rode everywhere you know did whatever I wanted and had it all on video and I got home and I put it in my little SD card reader transfer it to my iPad and I guess with no service no internet that cloud sucked it up and never gave it back it's oh gone. it's in the cloud it's in the cloud somewhere like mm. uh, I went, you know, went to my videos, gone. Uh, put the SD card back in the GoPro, gone. Really? Yeah. I was like, all right, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. You know, Mother Nature didn't want anybody to see what I saw. <laughs> <clears throat> so I saw it. I lived it. Uh, it was crazy. And uh, Well, the worst thing you got to fear from those darn hurricanes is the uh, tornadoes that, that happened because... Uh, Everything else is predictable. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it and it didn't really for us anyways over our house. It didn't really rain <clears throat> buckets. You know, there was rain and it was consistent and it was a you know a good. Our yard didn't even puddle up. It was no. a good rainstorm, <clears throat> but it wasn't like we you absorbed. Know, it wasn't gushing. It was uh, yeah, like um, sizzling. Now, let me tell you, sizzling. all the lakes rose several feet. Uh, oh. When I was on my on my bike going around, yeah. I went down to the lighthouse, and the water is about two inches below the sidewalk. That means that water's up about four to five feet. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Wakaiva Island, where Sydney works, mm -hmm. the river, because they're right on the Wakaiva uh, River, rose up so much that it covers the entire... Everything is like four feet underwater. Oh, even the parking lot. You've been there. Yeah, Remember that, that yeah. Whole they got the area. little tiki bars up tiki there. Tiki bar and the the beach part and stuff. That's all underwater still as of today. Oh shit. There's a lot of places. St. John's River has uh, had flood warnings. They, I'm sure. Oh, Aster, St. St. John's Aster, River they, was flooding before the hurricane even got here. They they predicted or not predicted. They said that today. Uh, so there's, and I've got a couple of friends that are still out of power and water. Um, Triumph Mike, he's still out of power and water. My friend uh, Lisa, she lives in the villages, which is a good distance away, but she's still out of power. Uh, well, I went it's to the, lot. I went to the skate park, uh, you know, around five or six, probably about six. But when I came home, I had to take a detour. That, what, today? Yeah, yeah. The light over here, uh, that was all blocked off all the way to Bates. I had to turn around 
that go behind baits, through baits, and come out the other way. But in that travel, all that is still no power. It, I mean, it was pitch dark out there, and they're, they're working on it still, I mean, day and night. I talked to um, Amanda Mallory in hmm. Asheville, North Carolina, yesterday. Nick and Amanda? And, um, yeah, Nick and Amanda. And she said that, you know, I asked her if she got anything from Hurricane Irma. And she said that it still, by the time we got up to North Carolina, that it was um, a lot of rain, but a lot of wind. There was a, a bunch of trees that went down in her area. Yeah. So That's got, great. What I'm saying is, is that, like, it affected it, all the oh, way yeah. up until to North Carolina and beyond, I would assume. I don't, I didn't really follow it much after that. It sounded like a train. It was well, like a train. <laughs> we couldn't follow it because we didn't have any power or we didn't have any service. No. I mean, once we lost service, we had no idea after, you know, the next morning, it was calm. It was like, you know, it just rained that night. Yeah, it kind of sucks, like, you know, being <clears throat> so dependent on internet. There's a, it's like a love-hate relationship almost. Yeah. You love it, mm -hmm. but in the same respect, it's like, man, I don't really need this. Yeah, it, well, the thing is, is when you need it, you don't have it. And when you have it constantly, you don't want it, you need a break, uh, it's always available. You know, so it's harder to take that break. But we had a force break, but it did suck because... After the next day, we had no clue what direction it went, where it was, what it was doing. It was hard to communicate with our friends, even in the area. Yeah. Because Jason and Jay's service went out completely. Oh, yeah. Talking at at and Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> mine, was, mine was good, but I was being very selective. So I tried to respond to as many emails or Instagram messages and then also communicate with family and friends just is challenging but on the up and up we're we're back in action yeah we're, we're back yeah good to go and uh got a busy weekend one team one fight for ptsd uh rocking to awareness is a gator harley davidson in leesburg saturday from 11 till 7 yeah and uh just gonna it's gonna be a good event uh you know we're not gonna be bringing the trailer we're just gonna bring a tent a table but it's more just a, a socialize event hang out meet people like-minded people uh learn things from one another educate uh you know people about awareness and ptsd and share experiences and just kind of all become one and they uh, have, uh, have a good time. Yeah, they've got raffles. They've got bands and raffle giveaways. Yeah. They've got a bike show, different class bike shows that you can enter. Um, yeah, you, let's just say if you're having a shitty day, you say come to it and you Gator won't. Harley? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gator Harley and Leesburg. We'll be there Saturday, September 16th. Is that right? <laughs> I, I don't even know remember. what today's date is. I like, think today's the 14th and tomorrow is the 15th. The no service. Oh, okay, so Saturday, the September the 16th. See, today feels like Tuesday to me. I'm like two yeah, days Yeah, the behind. week is all. Yeah, school got canceled. Well, actually, it reopens tomorrow. So Every day's a Tuesday for me. <laughs> <laughs> Every day's Saturday. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to tell them something else, but I forgot. What do they call that? Uh, Titty Wednesday? Uh, Camel Toe Wednesday. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sorry. They call it Wednesday. <laughs> camel Toe Wednesday? Yeah, every time I see that damn camel, I think it was Camel Toe. Yeah, I saw. remember that drawing you showed me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw there was a girl that had a tattoo of a camel toe on her toe. Mm, I've seen that. Was it? Were you with me then? Maybe. No, but I've seen. Was it she sporting her camel toe too? She was showing her camel toe on oh, her foot. Lord. It's always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a toe? Show it. No, <laughs> you're not going to disappoint anybody. That's embarrassing. Well, maybe you. 
but not to the receivers. Listen. If we I... look in the mirror before we walk out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we check our yoga pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I have toe, there's going to be a long t-shirt that goes over it. No comment. <laughs> yeah. Crickets, crickets. All right. Oh, speaking of crickets, what? since we had to bring all the plants inside, oh, we have yeah. been, uh, we've had a little, it sounded like Rainforest Cafe in here. We had all the plants inside, and um, it would just. <laughs> she would... also brought in frogs. <laughs> I brought in. A little baby snake. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see that, that thankfully. You know, that was a really cool looking snake, too. Did you see the like, blue in it? Well, it was like a ring snake. Yeah. It had it was uh, white and black banded. Oh, I thought it was blue. Uh-uh. You're colorblind. Wow. Yeah. But uh, I don't know whether the, whether he was brought in with the plants or the cat brought him in, but one or the two did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he was just a little ring snake. Was he alive? No, he's dead on the door now. Oh, I bet you the cat brought him in. We but all the frogs in. I've seen have uh, been in here. And matter of fact, we've got one that's about that long. And mm -hmm. still in he's the still house. In here. Still in the house, and he's a tree frog. frog. So at any moment, you could get right against your face, <laughs> uh -oh. Frog Martin. <laughs> because he'll <laughs> suck to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember when I brought that one in, He, I had the shelves, I had all my plants in them, and he had jumped to the top, and then he... There was a piece of aloe that kind of hung over the walkway right there. And the frog, that I think it's that frog because it looks about the same size. He went all the way to the end, so it was kind of like bending. And the then, camo and, in there? Well, yeah. when, I, when I took the... Um, <laughs> when I, Imagine walking by and he's, he's, yeah. he's hanging out. You don't see it and his eyes are just oh, watching you I'm go sure by. Like, like Larry watches you outside. Oh, that lizard. You know, they Larry won't the hurt you one bit. But, but they'll fucking They're kind of slimy. Yeah. And when they <laughs> slap oh, into you, oh, <laughs> man, it'll scare the daylights out of well, you. Well, yeah. when I had to, nobody was helping me bring the plants back out. And I brought them out by myself. And I <clears throat> waited till the very last thing to do was bring out that top shelf of plants. Because I had a feeling that frog was going to do that. And if that frog did it, I would have dropped that plant. <sighs> and it would have just been shit everywhere. <laughs> Dirt. Remember when you thought Plants. you had a frog on your back? Oh, I remember the Rick Black sent us that rattlesnake in the envelope. And I am, I she do. was out the door. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do well with um, <clears throat> surprises like that. That's how she was with that frog the other day. We also brought, or we, <laughs> I brought in some little tiny uh, bee wasp thingies. Oh, yeah. They weren't like wasps, like normal wasps, but they weren't bees. They look like bee, but they look like wasp. But Yellow they jackets. We have these wind chimes, and they like to get up in the wind chime. Yeah, and that's where they were. And you bring the wind chimes in, and you bring them in, too. It was like a fucking jungle in here. <laughs> it was. It was pretty crazy. I squished a frog. Its eyes blew out. No, that was a lizard. I did a lizard, too. Oh, double down. R.I.P. lizard. And but well, the what was this? You brought the plants in Friday night, right? Mm -hmm. So Saturday morning, Friday night... I fell asleep on the couch, and oh, uh, well, you woke up you to know, the nature sounds. It, it's, you probably it's, thought I had it on Pandora. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it, sometimes it's hard for me to sleep really well, and <laughs> if I fall asleep on the couch, I mean, I'm I'm pretty much out. Yeah, I just leave them. It's there. a rare occasion, so she'll leave me there, and I woke up the next morning to chirp, 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 chirp all these noises. And I'm just like, holy shit. It, it was cool, though. I mean, I, I could do that every day. But I didn't have anything jump on me. Well, you know, that last time I saw that big frog, he was over, he's there. over there. Headed that way. He's in the uh, He's the last shipping. one so far. Jay saved a little one today. Put him out in the porch. Jason saved some lizards. Lizards, a couple frogs. Heather saved quite a bit the first night. Mm. Oh, yeah, she was... I called her Sheena. Yeah. She was on. She was Heather's all, weather. Heather. <laughs> Heather was on that that weather media nonstop, like more than any, anybody I know. She was probably watching two or three different channels. But yeah. you know what, Heather? I was right there with you, and you know it, too, because we were watching it, and 
converse. And then Jay jumped in. So then it was Jay's weather hour. I said, I won't <laughs> ask until 12 hours before it gets here. And then we'll figure out the ultimate plan. But Yeah, it gets crazy. I mean, the weathermen can't even tell. I mean, look at all the... Uh, the different mo uh, yeah, they covered models. every Mo yeah they got every all degree. these models and nobody can agree they'll have 15 models going different ways you mm -hmm. know and it's it's half done one half a dozen one or the other um you and just, you just don't know until until you, until you just it happens. Have, you have to watch it and Either it see that it's going to make a turn now i was surprised okay, about the uh, hurricane taking the turn there in Cuba and headed up this way. I thought it was going to keep going. Good job, weathermen. And, <laughs> yeah, they did I, predict that. I mm. thought, um, I thought it was interesting too how they were saying it was going to the eye was going to go over Tampa, but as soon as it hit Naples, was it? Then yeah. it just stayed in the middle path and actually ended up going right over us. Yeah. And I got up at six forty-five and went outside for a brief moment. And well, checked it out. It when, was when that eerie. happens, South Florida is getting the daylight speed out of them. By the time it gets up here, it's not so bad if you can avoid the the tornadoes. Yeah. Uh, wonder if that mobile home park got hit again. Every time there's tornadoes in the area, it goes um, across that. Which one? There's so Sun many. Southern Air, the right there off of 441 and 46. I didn't go on the highway the other day. I took is it the one by back roads. Lake Sumter? No, no, it's the other it's, way. It's toward uh, uh, Tangerine and Zellwood. Well, tomorrow I'll see if that mobile home place got damaged there on Lake, right by Lake Sumter, by mm. by Sunset Grill, mm. where you come out. Okay. Can you name a few things we did when we didn't have internet? We had power from the generator, but no internet. Played a lot of cards. Uh, played a lot of cards. Cards, I'm, rummy. I made some salsa chicken in the crock pot. Yep, that was really oh, good. Oh, that's really that good. Was that really was really good. That was good. I, I think I'm going to make that for when we're at uh, Biketoberfest and just have chicken salsa in the crock pot. It's really good with avocado. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Avocado and onions and cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, it'd be even scandalous, more scandalous. A little dollop of sour cream. She is quite a cook. I'm mm. telling you. How about she, macaroni with that chicken? She cooks. Oh. She cooks meals. <laughs> <and also. laughs> Superb meals. Well, thank you very much, Jay. You're welcome. Yeah, we had an awesome dinner tonight. Chicken, garlic, mushrooms, rice. Jasmine rice. Yeah. There's a difference. It was baked chicken, and all I did was put a little uh, roasted garlic and some seasoning on it. And mushrooms, they were good. Yeah. Button we had, mushrooms. We had some button mushrooms with button. amino acids and uh, garlic. That's it. I gained four pounds on the on Irma's storm. I maintained. I Actually, I just weighed myself tonight. And I weighed the same tonight as I did two weeks ago. Well, shit. Well, that's good. 172.8. right. <laughs> Well, I it gained is for four me. pounds. I was, what, 198? Well, mm -hmm. 198 mm -hmm. when? At one time. Yeah. Oh. When it was hard but when I got back from California, I was down to 174. When you were 198, when you bent over to put your <clears throat> shoes on, you were out of breath. Yeah. Oh, I know I can tell you guys. So, what was it, Friday? Yeah, Friday. That's when we knew the hurricane was definitely coming. <coughs> and uh, mind you, we had already started preparing on Monday. Yeah, but because we knew the gas and everything was going to go out. Yeah. And sure enough, it was a fucking shit show from Tuesday yeah. to Friday. No, no gas. Friday, Saturday. Water, all that. Yeah, show. all that gone. Anyways, sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> but uh, you know, since my knee shots and uh, you know rehabilitating these things. I uh, did not plan on getting back on my skateboard until 
you know, probably maybe this Sunday, this coming Sunday is when I probably first would have got back on it. That damn really? hurt. Yeah. That, that was my plan, you know, and, and just let them heal a little bit more. But, uh, that damn, ah, that damn yeah. hurricane was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, everybody, you know, that, that lives around here that we all skate together, we're all in a group chat and it's like, you know, the storm's coming. We don't, you know, nobody knows what it's gonna do. It's supposed to be the worst of the worst. Let's let's go ride or die. So it's we all met up. Always skate park. worst of the worst. Yeah, always. And uh, <coughs> I just slowly pushed around and tic tacked and got got into my groove and got back into the feel and uh, had an incredible session. I mean, for my first time back two weeks early. Uh, it, it was phenomenal. Well, I have to say you did something different this time than you did in the past with your knees. And uh, and it was your diet. Diet. And it was your constant... Heat and ice. Heat and ice. Yeah. Constant <clears throat> icing. Yeah. And, and I, mean, I think that made a, a really big difference. The, the good thing, too, is that you did that before you got... You did it like a week before you got your yep. shot. So, I don't yeah. know, your body kind of adjusted prior... Uh, yeah, I Which planned is... it all out. You know, I'm still, uh, of course, eating right, and I have to heat an ice pack. Uh, did both of them tonight, but I don't have to do it as frequently. Like before, for the last three and a half weeks, it's been heat and ice around the clock, you know, all day, every day. Uh, now, just once they're they're heated up and they're sore and, and throbbing, you know, I can uh, baby them, take care of them, and... I wake up in the morning. I should be good to go. I hope. But it's supposed. To, well, <coughs> and then it rained again tonight, like big time. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. It was different because it was first time it rained since the hurricane. So you're like. Oh. Well, I was a little worried uh, before the hurricane. We was getting some heavy rains, mm -hmm. and they that rain was actually saturating the ground. Mm -hmm. If we'd have got heavy rains with that hurricane, we'd have had more flooding than what we're they had. We're a mud fest. Yeah, but that's what happened. It, we had the rain before the hurricane, and then when the hurricane came... It just soaked it all it, in. It just... Well... Well, how crazy was the weather afterwards? The next morning, yeah. low winds, dry as a bone, no humidity, and... It was a high of what, 82? 80, yeah. 80, you know, and yeah. most of the day was in the 70s. Oh, it was I, I awesome. felt like we were in San Diego. Oh, I did it, too. Yeah, actually. we didn't have AC. We didn't even need it. The, we had the doors open, the, the windows, windows open, are, yeah. fans going. It was yeah. nice. And, it did uh, feel like you were in San Diego. Oh, <clears> San Diego. And, you know, we just stayed busy cleaning up the yard and just doing shit. We really never had any time that we were just bored. Well, that one time when I cut my hair, <laughs> I was bored for a second, and I was Jesus like, "Jesus gave himself a haircut." Oh man, my hair gets there so was a pile thick, like, like an afro of this much hair <clears throat> in the bathroom. He goes, "Look at all that hair!" I'm like, "Good God!" Look, I went in there, thin that shit out. <laughs> Got a yeah. Hurricane Irma Delight special. Oh yeah, I just got out of the shower too. You're my special. I haven't done anything with it. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? I don't know. 33 minutes. Let's see what else we got. Is there anything else? Uh, only other thing is that uh, the weekend before we went to you know St. Augustine to hang out with Jeremy and Allison Sires. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> most of the time you don't even see Jeremy filming anything unless you know you're filming something with him. And he made this incredible, like, epic video with his drone and, you know, all the photography or he, videography. He's just, he does an amazing job. I was watching that. him. Every time I saw him, he had a camera. Why wouldn't he pay he attention? Certain, he had uh, switched his cameras out, doesn't he? Yeah. I, was, I was playing with the kids. Like, I never even really noticed him with the camera. No, I did. He'd come out with one with a short lens and another one with a big <laughs> lens and... Then the drone, mm -hmm. then his uh, GoPro. Now, his son has a little small drone, and 
He wasn't supposed to bring that out. It was just for <laughs> flying in the house. Yeah. Well, the, An inside drone. He decided that he was going to take it outside anyway and show Mr. Jason over here how it flew. Yep, he flew that thing right in the pool. Right in the pool. <laughs> but before he, you know, he, I saw him come outside. Before Aww. he even says, Jason, ready? It's already in the pool. All I hear is, oh, man. Oh, man. And the last time we were over there, Jared was in the back. No, he was in the front yard flying it. And, and wound it, up yeah. getting gone in the neighborhood. And me and Jeremy had to go drive around and find it. <laughs> it was in the neighbor's uh, front yard. He had... Got a gust of wind and that thing was gone. But he did learn a safe backflip. How to do... For a few, for a few minutes. Yeah, until he got in trouble. Well, he was just doing it too much and he got his... I think we got his head close to it. He was 12 inches away. Jason, this, uh, this hurricane mixture is not too bad. I know, it's pretty good. That it's a little gonna... wet, but... Yeah. Hey, I, but I that's the let hurricane. It, yeah. I mean, should have let it dry it out a little bit, but... We're in the swamp. It tastes good. If you guys want to know what it is, it's, uh, I don't know the ratios because I just kind of mix some shit, but it's Sleepy Hollow, it's, <clears throat> I think, Boswell's Best, or no, Boswell's No Bite Delight, because I called it Irma's Delight, um, and a little bit of Black Cavendish, straight. That's all it was. I uh, just kind of threw it in there. It smells good. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't measure anything out. I'm just like, yeah, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there. Pow, suicide mix. I, you know, I didn't make a whole jar, though. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do with this jar is uh, take it with us to Gator Harley-Davidson. I'll bring it to the uh, event. Uh, you know, have it on the pipe table if you want a sample of it. Um, you'll get a free sample with purchase of anything could be a penny and we'll give you some free tobacco or we'll what is it we'll take donations yeah we we'll, and the we'll, donations will we'll go, go to, to the, one team one fight for yeah, ptsd one team one fight for ptsd or code horse uh yeah we'll donate the money so if anybody wants to uh, do that this is it once it's gone it's gone but you still have more sleep how close hollow, do you right? think we'll be to yeah. uh his tent we're next to him oh and uh, <clears throat> you can just walk next, next door and give them the donation. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yep, you can donate to anybody there and uh, get free tobacco. Yeah, and Gator Harley would be open, right? I'm going to be there at 9. Yeah, Gator, I mean, it's at Gator Starts Harley. Starts at 11. Well, I'm thinking they, they can also come to look at the motorcycles. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I wonder come, if they've come got, look at the new Dyna. I was going to say, you wonder if they've got the new Dyna. <laughs> the new Dyna is not that bad. I mean, Everybody is in geez. a uproar. And I don't even know that much about the motorcycle. Here's the thing. Nobody likes change, you know? And, uh, oh, I'm learning that in my uh, Yeah, nobody, like, nobody likes course. change. And yes, I get that it is a soft tail Harley Davidson motorcycle. It is not a true Dyna dual shock swing arm bike. <clears throat> so, therefore, I don't agree with them calling it a Dyna. They should have called it the new FXR or something, or, well, that had two shocks too, but, you know, FXZ. So, you know, come up with something new. Uh, but they didn't. They stole the Dyna name. Shame on them. But uh, it's still a cool motorcycle. I mean, the. Uh, you can do a lot aftermarket stuff with it. Yeah, you're going to be able to. I mean, they're, I think it's uh, OSD. Is already making a front end. <clears throat> Olin's is making a front end. Shocks are going to be available. Tunable suspension. You know, the, of course, the stock suspension ain't going to be worth a shit. Uh, but the upgradable parts are going to be insane. Milwaukee 8 motor. Uh, horsepower. Uh, you should test drive one. 107, isn't it? Isn't it 107? Well, they got a fat bob with a 114 in it. Mm. And uh, Horsepower Incorporated is making all kinds of stuff for that Milwaukee 8 throttle bodies, exhaust, and, uh, you know, there'll be uh, some sick builds coming on those bikes. 
Not one from me, though. What do they start at? <laughs> oh, shit. They're more than a regular Dyna. Uh, I think they jacked them up a thousand or two thousand bucks. Which would be how, how much do they start at? I think 18, 17, 18, 16. I don't know. Well, I haven't seen one yet, so this will be my chance to see one. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, I might test ride one. You should. Yeah. I'm going to test ride one. Say, Jan. Been stuck in the house for a little bit. <laughs> hook me up. Yeah, Jan, hook me up. Give me that fat bob. All right, well, let's roll. We'll uh, we'll come back to you guys after the weekend, let you know how the event went. Rocking in for awareness. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Yeah, I mean, yep. if you get a chance or are able to come out on Saturday. You're close by, swing on out, come chill on out, over. hang out. And uh, who knows what we'll do afterwards. Yeah, there Probably hasn't been too shit. much open here lately. Well, <laughs> well that's true. Everything's closed. closed. Um, Party here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the event closes at 7 p.m., so that's perfect timing that we can yeah. pack up and go. Either go hang out to out. dinner or make dinner here. Come back to the house. <laughs> All right, let's roll. All right, see you later. Love you. Bye. Adios, amigos. Oh, bye, everybody. Wild hogs. <laughs> yeah. Thanks right for uh, chiming in. We'll see you guys next uh, week. Stay alive. One team, one fight for DJ. Push that fucking Let's button. Go. <laughs>